This is a video presentation of the assignment for uh, the GNU Utilities, as has been requested by several students. Uh, I'm going to start by tabbing over into uh, our Linux session, because that's where most of you will be doing this. Uh, we're going to start by uh, going into the GNU Utilities area. And give me a second, I need to adjust something. Okay, we're back. Mm. Adjustments have been made. Uh, we're still in the CD, uh, we're still in the GNU Utilities directory. Um, and we need to type, we need to compile CalPrime. So we say GCC, uh, lowercase g3, uh, to turn on all the debugging flags. Uh, for Apple users, this will be capital G3. Uh, Calprime.c, that's the file. And we're going to output this to Calprime. And we're also going to include uh, the LM option so that we can use the math library. Uh, Apple GCC users don't need to worry about it, but everybody else does because it's <laughs> because well, yeah. Mm. So now we're ready to run the debugger. So GDB Calprime. We're gonna set our breakpoints at line 12. Break at line 35. Break at uh, line. Seven, and I think I forgot one at 32, yeah. So we're ready to run with the command line argument 10. Uh, this program does support the command line arguments, and to use such a thing, you just put the command line arguments in quotes. Um, we're going to say, now to step through the program, we're going to say next. And now we can actually get the uh, first thing I asked for, which was size. Uh, so we're going to say print size. That's 43. So that's one of the things you're looking for. Uh, we're going to continue to the next breakpoint. Once we see that the function has come up, we say which steps into the function. It's a giant for loop and it iterates through itself so many times it's really kind of boring. And that's basically all it does right there. So we're just going to continue to the next one, uh, next breakpoint, which is that printer, so we can step in there. And And that gives you the basic idea, so we're going to continue. Um, and obviously it didn't take very long to find the first 10 prime numbers. And we're going to say continue so that we can uh, have the process exit. Uh, since the program is ex exited normally, everything's great, and we can leave the debugger by typing quit. This means we're ready to move on to the next step, which is... Uh, the uh, GNU make part of this presentation. I'm sorry, I had a little uh, 
bout of amnesia. Uh, that's the command you'll run, but since I've already unpacked this file, uh, I'm going to just forego it and uh, show you the make file. Uh, here's the make file. Uh, quit. It was already open, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. This is the make file. Now, it shows us where all of our outputs are and everything else. Now, the compiler we're using here is still GCC, but we're using an alias here called G++, which tells the compiler that we are com using C++ exclusively, because these are all C++ files, obviously. Um, the O2 flag here um, that you see uh, on every line means that we are going to apply the second level of optimization to this particular program. There are four levels of optimization that GCC supports. Uh, optimization level three is quite dangerous. Uh, I have had it completely optimize away my entire code before. Uh, there's also an optimization level zero, which applies no optimization. That's the default. And optimization level one. Uh, the other unique flag here, other than uh, the output flag that you've already seen me use before on CalPrime, is the C flag. Now, this particular flag tells us, tells the compiler not to link the files because we are compiling each file here individually. One moment. Okay, we're back. Um, I explained the C flag. Uh, we're compiling each file individually, so we don't want to link. So we're going to use the C, pile, which is the C option, which just says, compile it, don't link it. Uh, and this is what your make file should look like. So now we can come over here, cd into code, and we can type make. Now this one will throw a few warnings because I didn't throw in end line, new lines at the end of the file, but it will work. By the way, I do want to see the result, uh, your resulting make file, because I did not provide one for you. This is one that I had ripped up for, uh, whipped up for my code, for my key. Um, now to run it, we're going to type dot, sl uh, dot slash main, and you can see that Emmett Brown's DeLorean uh, has a 0 to 60 time of uh, 2.8 seconds and uh, 130 horsepower engine. Uh, Interesting, that is sufficient, in fact, to get that thing going up to 88 miles an hour, and I'm sure you've seen Back to the Future and whatnot. And that concludes our, uh, actually, yeah, that concludes our uh, demonstration of the GNU utilities. Uh, if you should have any questions, you can email me at thephotoman at gmail.com. Uh, that's the photo man at gmail.com or you can find me on WebCT.